mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Verse 3, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, Selah. Verse 4, there is a river whose stream shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. Verse 5, God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her just at the break of dawn. Verse 6, the nations raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. Verse 7, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Verse 8, come, behold the works of the Lord who has made desolations in the earth. Verse 9, he makes war cease to end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariot in the fire. Verse 10, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Let me read verse 10 one more time. Somebody needs to hear that. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Verse 11, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge, Selah. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his holy word. Let us pray. Lord, Father, as we come before you this morning, Lord, we thank you for another gift of your grace and mercy, Lord. Father God, we thank you for that breath of life that you gave Adam, Father God, that is still breathing, that is still bound within us today, Lord. Father God, with that very breath today, Father God, we desire to lift you up. We desire to praise the name of Jesus. But Lord, we ask that you just remove any and all distractions, Father God. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness, Father God, for we desire a pure worship with you this morning, Father God. Father, I ask that you just look in on those behind prison walls, Father God, those in the nursing homes homes, those in the hospitals, Father God, those who are at home bedridden, Father God. Lord, we just ask that you just touch them right now through your screaming service, Lord. Father God, we know that the word of God is powerful, Father God. So as it goes forth, Father God, we pray that it convert, convict, and change someone today, Father God. Touch that one, Father God, who is streaming right now for the first time, Father God, that doesn't know you, Lord. Draw them by the cause of your love, Father God, so that they may say yes to Jesus today, Father God. Let not another day go by, Father God, without someone being saved by the by the preach word today, Father God. And Lord, we pray for the man of God who's going to bring the word, Father God. We ask that you be magnified in him, Father God. We ask that you be glorified in him, Father God. Let him preach the word that you have given to him, Father God. Let him preach the word with power today, Father God. And we ask that you just move by the power of your spirit as only we know that you can, Father God. Father God, we just be we just love you today, Father God. We just want to give you all praise, honor, and glory, Father God. So, Lord, we just ask that you just have your way in this sanctuary, Father God, and in each and every home that is under the sound of the voices of our pastor, Lord. We thank you. We give you all praise, honor, and glory, Lord. It is in the blessed name of Jesus that we offer this prayer. Amen.
With all of my heart, I hold back no part, surrendering all that I got to work. I will, I will you with all of my heart.
Hallelujah. Oh, how we worship you, oh God, today. We come today by your mercy and your grace. As we gather around, though we can't do it physically, but where you are, we can gather around where you are, with your families, your friends, loved ones, for we come to worship him. We come to pray at this time. Come, come to the altar of the Lord this morning that we might give him glory, honor, and praise as we worship our holy, mighty Father. Pray with me now. Gracious Father, oh, we worship you this morning. For you are our God. You are our help. You are our keeper. You are, oh God, all that we need. And we bless you this morning as we gather around wherever we might be this morning. We thank you, dear God, that you are so great and so mighty. Thank you for your grace and your love. Thank you, dear God, for all that you are and all that you're doing. We worship you today. And Father, as we come together today at the altar of the Lord, we just worship you. We just praise you. We, oh God, have come this morning, though we have many circumstances. But, Father, you know all about all of our circumstances. You know all about our illnesses, our weaknesses. You know all about our thing, everything that works with us and within us. But, God, we thank you that you're such a merciful God, kind and compassionate. So, Holy Father, as we come before you this morning, Father, look in on us, oh God, we pray. Move, oh God, in our lives. Touch our illnesses, oh God, whatever it might be. Strengthen us, oh God, for whatever may be holding us down. Encourage us, oh Lord, today as we worship you in spirit and in truth. For you are great and mighty, and we thank you, Father, for all that you've already done and all that you're doing even right now. And we thank you, Father. Oh God, we bless you in the name of Jesus. We call on you, oh God, to bless now. That one day soon, Lord, according to your will, you'll bring us back together into the house of the Lord. And we'll give you praise, but most of all, we will worship you. We thank him and give you all the glory. For it's in that name that's above all names, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Son of the living God. And all of God's people said amen, amen, and amen. Come on and let's worship the Lord. You are I wonder how many people know that he is truly mighty. I wonder how many people truly love the Lord this morning. Even though I cannot see you, just for 15 seconds, wherever you are, the Lord can see you. Just go ahead and give the Lord a hand clap of praise and praise him this morning. The Lord is truly, truly awesome. And here are our morning announcements. Uh, we ask that you join us every Monday and Thursday for prayer via conf conferencing with the pastor at 7 p.m. 
And uh, just as a reminder, prayer is only 15 to 20 minutes. You can spare 15 to 20 minutes to give the Lord some of your time. If you give the Lord five minutes of your time, he will show you an eternity. Amen. We have a leadership conference on August 8th at 9 a.m. via Zoom. I ask that all members be looking, uh, leaders be looking in their email for that information. Uh, we'll have a back-to-school drive backpack pickup on August 15th at 11, excuse me, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be 11 a.m. And uh, also lunch, uh, lunch bags will be passed out as well. There is a facilitators meeting for all our educators on August 15th at 10.30 a.m. via Zoom. Dr. Block will be sending out additional information on that as well. There is an executive council meeting on August 20th at 7 p.m. via Zoom as well. Also ask that you continue to check your email for that as well for the uh, executive council. Attention TVBC, you can donate school supplies for the backpack drive by on Tuesday and Thursday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And supplies can be dropped off at Sanctuary 2 drop box at the main entrance. And our communion, report, dri uh, communion drive report for this uh, Friday and Saturday, we had 119 members receive communion, 57 gave their tithes and offering, 24 members requested, fair, excuse me, requested prayer, 50 family members were provided food bags, and we received generous donations of various school supplies. And you can still contribute to uh, the uh, school supply drive as well also. Uh, there's a Stitch uh, Faith and Finance class beginning on September 12th at 9 a.m. through 11 a.m. And it will go from September 12th through November 21st. And uh, even though you may feel as though you're good in your finance, we could always learn something new. And I'll be honest, I took that class, and I'll be honest with you, it's a truly tremendous class. And I thank Reverend A.D. and the Stitch Ministry for offering that class. Additionally, there's a Faith and Works class as well that starts on September 20, 21st, and it goes from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And that is also an excellent class as well. True Vine, our prayer warriors are available every Sunday during service. When you call in, you may hear others on the line. However, the prayer counselor on the line will assign each counselor, excuse me, each caller to a private counselor via a private number for prayer. So please feel free to call in with your prayer concerns, and please note that the call-in number will be posted after the benediction on Sunday morning and also on Wednesdays after Bible study. Also, True Vine, if you get sick, admitted to the hospital, or you need prayer, Please, please, please contact your deacon or the church office so that someone will know. We could all use prayer, and specifically during these times, we all know that prayer works. True Vine, funeral arrangements for Sister Beverly Williams will begin is on August 12th at 2020 at 10 a.m. at the Castle Ridge Mortuary. Burrow will be at Fort, Fort Sam Houston following the service. And all other church events have been canceled until further notice. As we continue to go higher in the Lord, we'll be moving on into our tithes and offering, followed by our praise team who will lead us in two, uh, two selections. After that, we'll have a mission statement and a word of the Lord from our pastor. Amen. Let's go to the kingdom. Heavenly Father, thank you for this blessed day, Father. Thank you for your, our tithes and our offerings, Father. Bless the ones who gave and bless the ones who still wasn't able to give, Father, but they wanted to give, Father. 
Father, we give you the honor, the glory, and the praise for what you do, what you're going to do, and what you have already done, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I thank you for it all, the good, bad, the ugly, great and small, the times of victory and when I fall, I'm so grateful and I'm still standing tall. I thank you for my tears, the pain helped me overcome my fears. You've been good to me down throughout the years. It's a miracle that I'm still standing here. All that I am is because all that you brought me through. Everything that I survive is all because of you.
What a blessing, amen. We come to praise him. We come to give him all the glory and all the praise. What a mighty God that we serve. Thank you, praise team, for blessing us, amen. I see that the spirit of the Lord is already at work amen. in them. Yeah. I see that the spirit of the Lord, and I believe he is at work in you, even right now, as we praise him and we give him all the glory. But now is the time for the word of God. So pray this morning that God will open up your ears and touch your hearts that it may sink down and begin to turn around in you and bless you this morning. So we give him all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory as we began. Pray with me for a moment. Most blessed God, thank you for our time right now to worship you, to praise you, to present this thy word, O oh God, to these thy people. Bless now, O oh Lord, by the power of your spirit, the power of your word, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Holy Father, we pray that there is one who is listening to us this morning who does not know Christ as Savior and Lord of their lives. We pray, O oh God, that they will be turned around and you will bless them. That one that don't have a church home today, that may be with us on streaming, bless them, that they may find a home with us. And Father, we give your name all the praise. Now bless us now, O God, in this thy word. Thank, O God, with my mind and speak with my mouth that which you want to say to these thy people and bless them in Jesus' name. And all said, Amen. Amen. So we, think we come to praise him. We come to give him all the glory and all the honor. And so as we began this morning, we want to begin with our, just to remind us of the vision and mission and vision of our church. And so you, many of us already know, but it's desi it is important that we review it to understand and to begin to do those things within the vision to help us to reach the vision, do those things in the mission rather to help us accomplish the vision. Although we are still hampered by the coronavirus, we cannot do the things we were accustomed to. To remain safe, we must maintain social distancing, wearing masks, and avoid large crowds. But as a church, we must, by all